Okay, y'all, so we're gonna do another test with the live deck, the Autel live deck. I'm gonna go out here. What we have is, is Jack is inside the gauntlet and I'm out here in the back of his Tahoe. And uh, he had, here's the live deck um, right there. You can see it's kind of hard to see, it's in the dark. Um, and there it is hooked up to his TV and you can, you can see it looks really good. What he's gonna do, this is outside of the building, you know, where you might have a vehicle if you were gonna fly and something like that. It's outside of the building and he's gonna fly until he starts getting a little bit of video signal break up and then we're gonna see how far it goes. So what we're testing here is signal penetration of the live deck um, with the Autel flying indoors and then uh, we'll see how far he goes. Wait, Jack, whenever you're ready. I'm gonna back up here just a little bit. It's raining outside, so. So if this were a real scenario where he had to fly indoors, you'd be able to see this is what um, the outside observers command or whoever would be looking at. It looks uh, really good. One of the amazing things about the Autel is how you can fly very confidently indoors. Uh, no unexpected movements or drifts. Just go. I've had him try to make it to this room over here. Let's see if he can make it. Oh, bumped into the wall a little bit there. That's okay. Okay. All right. So it doesn't look bad. I'm starting to get a little bit of pixelation. Um, hey Jack, go go ahead, go ahead and try to go down that hallway some. So into a dark room. We're gonna run into doors here in a minute, but he can try to go down a little. All right. Okay. Hey, I'm starting to get a little bit of breakup. Go ahead and land it. I don't know if you saw that or not. I'm getting just a little bit of block in this, but plus we're stuck in the doorways. Don't know how much farther we're going to go. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you for a little quick walk on how far it went. So first of all, the, the live deck is still sitting out here in his Tahoe. Um, antennas are pointing at the side of the Tahoe, so it's having to um, somewhat penetrate the side of his vehicle. Uh, we still have a pretty good video signal. We're at the end of the hallway. Um, so first there's the building that it has to cinder block construction. And I'm going to take you in here. So through that exterior wall, I'm going to take you for a little quick walk. Walk as briskly as I can. Going down here. So you can see that thing was kind of at a diagonal, so it was having to go through these. And one thing to remember about the live deck is it does not rely on any proximity to the uh, pilot. So it could have been now, here we go. We So we went down that hallway, we turned this corner. So now we're having to push that signal through all these walls, interior walls as well through this corner. I'll kind of show you another view of it around here. There it is again around that corner and around this next corner. And he flew down here, came down this, this stairwell or that ramp 
And then he flew into this dark room and flew around in there and the light came on and came down here. Went down this other ramp, this carpeted area is a ramp. Went down this other ramp and then he's down here on the ground. And we have this door and that door is closed. And then we had this electrical room. I guess he could have tried flying in there, but anyway, there it is. Um, and it still looks good. So that gives you an idea of uh, what it looks like for, for the Autel Live Deck. The Live Deck is, again, the, the something very unique to Autel, something very much needed and been asked for for public safety for a while. And it looks like it works very well. So hope that helps and it kind of gives you an idea of the interior flight performance. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.